Well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. I know, I know. I look different. I normally don't make videos while I am at work, but I do have a system that's here that's capable of doing this. It's just, it's not as nice as what I have at the home office. But anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. Today calls for a video, and, and I want to get this out as soon as possible. I'm at work, and I have about a 45-minute break. So here we are on May the 4th, happy May the 4th, and the Kenobi official trailer. Trailer number one, the actual trailer, not a teaser. The trailer just dropped, and I'm going to watch it here with you guys and going to give a little bit of feedback. And then I found a really interesting article that uh, my moderator, one of my moderators, uh, Matt Risman, sent me this morning. Very interesting, and uh, it's so funny that they timed it just right. It came out today about Kenobi. So here we go. Let's go ahead and switch it over to... Uh, this screen here so we can actually get into this trailer. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenobi. And I'm going to stop it all the way through to avoid copyright, but right away playing some uh, Duel of the Fates there. Pretty good. I like the Star Wars underworld scene. I know that we've seen this before, but I'm really excited about that part of it. He just said they are coming. Stay hidden. Or we will not survive. There he is. The new hope. Oh, Uncle Owen says, leave us alone. When the time comes, the boy must be trained. Well, the time has come. Padawans, they started training way before uh, Luke is this age. So they became Padawans at four or five years old. So Obi-Wan needs to get this thing going, <laughs> which we know that he doesn't. Like you trained his father. Oh. The ultimate diss. Wait, what was that? You still want Kenobi, he's gone. Maybe you've been looking in the wrong places. Oh, so she follows him to this world. Okay. Oh, that's like a wanted sign. Ah, uh, that's interesting. So everybody knows Obi-Wan's back, that he's still alive. That that makes me... Uh, yeah, uh, okay. Wait a second, who was that? Was that Zuckus or Forlom? To squeeze him. I want every low life and bounty hunter. That looks like Zuckus. To squeeze him. Obi Wan, don't need no lightsaber. You can't Obi Wan. Oh, blaster. Obi Wan using a blaster. All right, that's the Jedi that dies. Wait, what? What do you say? You can't escape him. You can't escape him. I am calling it now. We're going to get another one of those incredible, incredible Darth Vader fight sequences. <laughs> 
<laughs> we got to get that. If this show is a failure if they don't give us a Rogue One type fight that we get to see Vader. It doesn't have to be with Obi Wan, uh, even though you know everybody's saying that they're going to fight again. So it's official. Vader knows Obi Wan is around, and so does that change A New Hope, where he says a presence I've not felt since since this. <laughs> since this okay that doesn't mean it's bad though that doesn't mean this is bad uh i'm i'm going to be interested to see what they do with this i i want to switch gears here with you guys and this article came out earlier today obi-wan kenobi feels like the last hope for star wars under disney a lot of people are feeling the same way when i when i read that title, I was like, yeah, that's, uh, that's what a lot of people are feeling right now. Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you really are our only hope. And then as I get into the article, it, he actually goes somewhere completely different, and I'm just going to read just a tad of it. In the very first Star Wars movie released back in 77, Luke Skywalker is cleaning his newly acquired droid R2-D2. In the process, he accidentally triggers a secret message from Princess Leia aboard the ship Tana 4. Yes, we all know that. Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. It's a classic line, meaning the defining line. Maybe the defining line in a series packed with them, but in 2022, on May the 4th of all days, it's a line that hits differently. In May 2022, weeks ahead of the Obi-Wan Kenobi's premiere on Disney+, it could be, it could be, it could be me delivering that line. Me, a bruised and battered Star Wars fan watching aghast as Disney released clunker after clunker into the canon. As I press play on the new trailer for the series, it could be me in the hologram form. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, so I agree with everything that he said up until there. And then the writer goes on to say they had it all right through The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi was so good. It was so different. It's exactly what Star Wars needed. And ever since The Last Jedi, it's been terrible. And I'm like, I think you got it wrong, buddy. Mark Serrells, uh, you are, it doesn't mean that, you know, you're in the minority by far with this opinion, by far. Uh, I don't know exactly what you're looking for, um, but anyways, uh, everyone got mad, blah, 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 the, the Rise of Skywalker, uh, it, the guy says, it stings hard because Disney initially got it right. After a well-made um, homage movie in The Force Awakens, Star Wars broke the mold with The Last Jedi, a movie that challenged not only assumptions about Jedi lore and other hokey-pokey BS, but notions of nostalgia and fandom itself. In short, it absolutely ruled. Well, we could just turn that off. We could just stop reading right there. <laughs> We'll just stop reading that article from CNET and Mark Serrell's because I could not disagree anymore with that. Has Disney dropped the ball? Yes. Is Kenobi important? Incredibly important because you've got Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader in this show, two cornerstones of the entire franchise. Two pillars, if you will. They have to get this right. This show has to be great. This show has to be outstanding. This show has to be 9 out of 10 or better. It cannot be less than a 9. Or it's a failure. You, you, this has to be greatness. Because it's Obi-Wan Kenobi. So it is what it is. Please don't change our story all that much. <laughs> I'm glad that they're doing it. I'm going to be watching. I'm really hoping that it's going to be good. You just don't know. You just don't know. Uh, am I okay with Vader and Obi-Wan meeting again? I think so. But i got to wait and see about the story and what actually happens in the story. A six-part limited series, but lately Ewan McGregor has said he is willing to come back and do it again. That'll be interesting to see. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming here today. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. I hope that you will see us Saturday night for our live EBN live show, uh, all things Star Wars and entertainment pop culture. We have a blast every Saturday night, 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. And as we stay here, we are, you are, Echo Base Network. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you on the next one. 
Echo 3 to Echo 7. Auto buddy. 